Last time I demonstrated this uh, post-processing effect that I had recently added to, to my game. Uh, since then I've uh, changed this project quite a lot. Um, I started to realize that I, I wanted to work more on the the content and the gameplay creation and, and less on the uh, engine creation. So, so this is, has been developed using my own engine in C++ and OpenGL. And uh, yeah, it's, it's been quite a fun experience, but I, re I really want to f focus on the, the gameplay. And um, I, I think that uh, it's not impossible to do it using my own engine, but I think, um, how do you say, it, it's so much work up front that it will take uh, maybe a year or, or, or more than that before I can even start making the stuff that I've, uh, uh, I've started brainstorming. So, so that's why I wanted to change to using Unreal Engine instead. So, yeah, let's uh, move over to Unreal Engine. So, here is what my game looks inside Unreal Engine. It's quite a different look, I know. Um, uh, this is the direction that I wanted to to move the other, the the previous uh, look of the game, and uh, yeah. I started to realize that it would take too much time to uh, to do it on my own from scratch. So uh, using Unreal Engine, this was super easy, uh, or not super easy. It was quite uh, confusing actually the first time opening Unreal Engine and yeah, me being mostly focused on making everything from scratch using code. Uh, here uh, I, I started to having more um, an artist mindset. How would you say? So yeah, I can paint uh, the train. I can, yeah, I can move around easily. I can uh, add simple materials using uh, a node, node system and uh, stuff like that. So it's it's v very intuitive. Uh, if if you if you know the tools, then it's very easy to make content. But it's so much, uh, so much of the things you can do in the, this engine. So it's very overwhelming the first time you you open it. So yeah, let's move into what I've been doing. So here is uh, a character that I animated using Blender. Uh, yeah, he's, <laughs> he's a, he has quite an uh, enthusiastic run cycle, but uh, it, it works for now. And uh, he has a simple idle cycle as well. I've also added these uh, glowing acorns, as you can see here. Maybe I can get a nice glowing effect on the end. So what I've done here is I've just added these glowing acorns because um, I want to have something that you can do early on. Uh, so these are stuff that you can collect. And uh, yeah, uh, as I move forward, I, I, I don't know if I will include them at all, but uh, maybe they are stuff that you can reach at the end of a level or something like that. And uh, yeah, let's see if I can reach this one. <laughs> this is obviously not playtested. Yes, I could reach it. And this one as well. Yeah. So <laughs> the the goal that I want to achieve with this project is I want to uh, I want to see if I can make the player experience a certain emotion or a uh, feeling. So. So my idea is that this is an uh, enchanted forest and um, what I want to the player to experience is is without knowing it ending up in in new and uh, m maybe beautiful places or amazing places and uh, you don't really know how you got there so so that's the 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 idea that I want to explore and uh, uh, the first iteration of it is uh, you move into the fog uh, in the distance and as you move further and further inside the fog it gets thicker and thicker and eventually you end up at the other side of the, the glade and and this is uh, what I want it to be intentionally because maybe in the far distance you see a fox or a deer and I want the player to be intrigued by it or move be curious and f follow it maybe it's the playful fox that, uh, that follows you around and starts to bug you or something like that 
and you start chasing it and it moves into the forest and you follow it and without you re realizing instead of ending up at the, the other side of the glade you end up at the magical castle or floating islands or stuff like that so so that's the the picture that <laughs> i have in my mind and um, let's see if I, I can make something of of it but uh, yeah that's the 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 idea or the emotion that i want to to achieve let's see if i can make uh, this idea uh, work but uh, yeah that's the, the overall goal that I'm uh, striving for. Um, for now, at least you have these uh, uh, acorns that you can collect. Maybe I'll just add a counter so you can can know if you've collected all of them. But then I I I, I need to find um, the the mechanics that uh, actually achieve the the feeling that I wanted. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. But uh, I, I'm, I'm quite uh, enthusiastic about this project and I hope you are as well. If you have any suggestion or stuff that you think would be cool in, in this game or uh, if you like the idea or if you, if you don't like the idea also, um, just uh, leave a comment down below and I, I try to answer it as, as quickly as possible. Uh, other than that, uh, thanks for watching. Bye.